to grow a tree, but a century to nurture a generation of leaders. Professor Bong, Professor Victor Chan, Dr. Zhang, Professor Kuhn, colleagues, distinguished guests, friends, and students. Founded in 1922, for almost a hundred years, the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia has been nurturing whole person leaders for Asia and the world. The Chongqi College and the United Board share this same mission. This is no coincidence, as the Chongqi College is a continuation of the 13 Chinese Christian colleges and universities in China, which the United World has supported since almost a century ago. Our relationship between the United World and the college dated back to 1951, when the college was founded. So I hope see it is truly a double happiness with this opportunity for the United Board to jointly celebrate our respective anniversaries. Chongqi College 70th anniversary and the United Board's centennial in this Chongqi College concert. The United Board now supports over 80 colleges and universities in Asia, and Chongqi College has also grown from a college with just a handful of students to over 3,000 students today. I have no doubt that the college and the United Board will continue to excel and advance in our mission for decades to come. May I also, on behalf of our colleagues and the United Board, let me wish Chongqi College a very successful year of celebration in the 70th anniversary. For tonight's performance of the United Board Centennial Anthem, Cherished Moments, first and foremost, I want to thank Professor Victor Chen for composing this masterpiece. Victor has produced three versions of the same music, masterfully so the United Board can adapt it to being played in a chapel with an organ in concert hall with all the percussion instruments of different countries or in a banquet hall with just a piano. Second, I want to thank Professor Kuhn for her dedication in coaching and conducting the Chongqi College members for tonight's performance, the Chongqi Choir members. Her energy and passion can be felt throughout the many rehearsals. Lastly, I want to thank all the students for their participation in this performance. They are truly the soul of this centennial anthem, as this piece is all about education. Before the actual performance, I want to show a short documentary film about the making of the centennial anthem, so you may see the highlight of what went behind the scenes. Thank you and enjoy. The United Board is celebrating its centennial in 2022. It is great to have a centennial anthem to complement with so many celebration activities that we will have in the next few years. We are so grateful that we have Victor Chen, uh, who is the renowned composer and the former Chongqi head, uh, to compose this music for us. I feel very blessed to be able to serve the Chongqi College for over 30 years. During the course of these 30 years of experience, I was so fortunate to be able to meet a lot of UP friends and colleagues. And somehow, that allows me to have a knowledge of the mission behind um, the UB. 
It is even more meaningful when I found out Carmen is actually inviting the Chongqi students to participate in the singing of the anthem for us. And I think having students to be involved and as part of the education experience, I think this is a double benefit. What I like about this piece is that it has different versions and for example the ethical version and this cathedral version. So I have to sing differently for each of them and I love how it sounds different when we have different ideas in mind. The reason for uh, proposing these three different versions is because UB has a very large community of serving different universities. This piece uh, would best serve the UB purposes if they could be delivered in ways that best serve these vastly different and uniquely different institutes. And I think this piece giving me some inspiration on how to integrate different percussion instruments and other distinctive character that represents other countries like um, East Asian country. Um, it's quite innovative and quite bold the ideas, um, having lots of instruments which are quite modern. I think um, for me the bass drum part is um, doubling the taiku and helps the taiku to resonate uh, in the piece and gives a very vibrant atmosphere. A very fun part and unforgettable part is that our last rehearsal we dance while we sing and to feel the pulse and it is very important. If we just stand here, we can't feel the pulse easily. In this song, it requires the organ to be um, strong and grand and also have to be delicate in flourishing the entire song as well as um, decorative, I would say. I have to explore what Professor Chan wants to deliver in the music. Try different approaches to um, decorate and to polish the song, to deliver the meaning. The pandemic situation really makes, it, makes the whole project a bit difficult. Also very encouraging to see the students very responsive and they are happy to join the project. To me, I then think of, oh, it is not only a project, it has to be educational. So that's why um, when things go on, that we were exploring how to tackle the, the works. All these contribute to how music making is. I would say every time after the rehearsal, it gives me some inspiration and also some, I would say it's like a glucose. Glucose, it gives me energy to go up. I find the contrasting style and diversity in, in the three versions is the most interesting to me. In the solo version, it requires a high degree of chemistry between three of us. There's a really high level of complexity in the song. It's really uh, challenging and interesting to work with. I actually, um, without knowing the difficulty of composing music, I edited some lyrics, ended up you had to rewrite. I'm really sorry about that. No, not at all. Uh, now what is being resulted is much richer and with greater substance. And more importantly, you have produced a third paragraph, which is the core of the message. And I have placed it right in the middle. And there is a very important message, which is really at the heart of it. So it really is a team effort to come up with the lyrics, uh, and I find the lyrics is very meaningful and really uh, descriptive of our hope and aspiration for whole person education. It's such a huge thing to be a part of this 100 year celebration. Enjoy singing with such um, wonderful musicians. Everyone enjoys this version of the cherished moment.
It is a soft, express hope for the listener's heart to endure and not fade like the snow. Now, without further ado, let us invite our choir and the conductor, Professor Carmen Kuhn on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy.
扎特嘅魔笛，全劇演出兩個半鐘頭嘅。我哋今日咧係個折子戲，係呢個歌劇嘅後段。而家等我簡單介紹下劇中嘅人物啦。Sarastus， 太陽神殿嘅大祭司，佢代表光明、公義，佢睇中咗我哋嘅主角 Tamino 佢嘅德行。话可以抵抗个黑势力，所以佢为咗撮合男女主角，佢就特登鼓励 Tamino 接受考验。两位侍卫，呢两位仁兄负责把守通往试验之门嘅入口嘅，唔使 check 证嘅，唔该。咧好特別嘅，佢本來係 Sorostus 嘅僕人嚟嘅，啊，傳統上咧呢一個係一個摩爾人，所以佢應該搽黑啲皮膚嘅。不過我哋今次演出保留咗演員嘅靚仔樣嚇。Monostatus 咧，佢中意咗我哋嘅女主角 Pamina， 對佢色迷心竅，為咗得到女主角 Pamina， 佢竟然背叛咗主人 Sorostus。欺命投暗，系一个不折不扣嘅小人。拉斯，夜后，佢代表黑暗势力，佢专横，意图毁灭整个太阳神殿。佢甚至叫佢嘅女帕米娜刺杀 Sarastus。第三，夜后嘅侍女。巴基诺同巴巴基诺啊，呢一对欢喜冤家真系天作之合。巴巴基诺咧系一个鬼嚟嘅精，佢可以令到巴巴基诺见到佢咧就冧晒，对佢朝思暮想。啊，而巴巴基诺咧，佢嘅专长系捉雀仔啊！佢嘅人生哲学咧就系有饮有食，诶有得瞓，有爱人就如愿足。Tamino， 巴米纳，呢一对，男嘅系王子，女嘅系公主。王子为咗公主可以赴汤蹈火，公主可以同王子患难与共。Sarastus 就系睇中两个人嘅德行，认为佢哋经过试炼，可以成为得道之人。值得一提嘅咧，就係、是、Pamina 佢嘅特殊身份。佢去世嘅父親係大祭司，媽媽就係夜后，所以佢一直都會喺矛盾同埋掙扎之中。但係無選佢追求高尚嘅情操。好啦，話說我哋嘅開場咧，係 Tamino 同埋 Pamina 一定要分開，佢哋要經過試煉先至可以永遠喺埋一齊。Tamino 先前已經經過咗沉默嘅測試，而家佢準備接受新嘅挑戰，就係、是、克服對死亡嘅恐懼，真正嘅赴湯蹈火。
啲人能穿過火堆，越過洪水，憑住勇氣跨越一切嘅危險同困難，佢哋終於通過最後嘅測試，可以入到太陽神殿啦！我一邊，帕帕基奴佢使出浑身解數，但係偏沉不往啦。帕帕基奴，哎呀，真係急死佢啦，急死佢啦！
Thank you.